Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making cottage pie. A family favourite that um, is seems complicated, but it's actually really simple and it gives you some unbelievable results. Now, mine's is slightly different um, and we'll, I'll talk you through it as we go. The ingredients you need are onion, carrots, I've got beef mince, garlic, salt, pepper, thyme, rosemary, Worcestershire sauce and um, some tomato puree. And I'm going to do a couple of bits different. So first of all, I'm going to grate the vegetables. Um, now this gives you more of a, a, a nice thin veg which sort of dissolves into uh, the mince mixture. So all I've done there is I've just grated the carrot and I have grated the onion and now I'm grating in the garlic. So there you, you can see there, that's the little three bits. And now I'm going to go on to the mushrooms and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop these into little pieces and that's just to bulk it out it's a great way of adding another vegetable into this dish so you can see there um and, and those four mushrooms make a good chunk so add that to your uh veg medley so to speak give it a bit of a mix so that it's all incorporated and then we're just going to add a couple of bits into this. So we're going to add some salt, some pepper and we're going to add into here some dry thyme. And that way it just gives it a little bit of a, a chance to, to amalgamate together while we're then going to get on to the actual mince itself. So you can see me just adding in that thyme. And I'm just going to give it a good old mix again, just to make sure that we're trying to incorporate it and get it spread out as much as possible. So when it does go into the pan, um, it's all going to be mixed together nicely. So pop that to the side. Now this is where I sort of do a slightly different. I've got a, a red hot pan on that I'm going to cook the, the mixture in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some bacon, rashers uh, a bacon, into the pan without any oil because I'm going to actually use the rendered bacon fat as you can see there on the bottom of the pan that is just pure flavour and I'm going to use that with the mince so into the, the bacon once it's cooked down and it's rendered off we're going to throw in the mince now this is 5% fat so it is very lean beef and I'm just going to mash it up in the pan there and get the browning process started and you can see how hot the pan is it's starting to pick up some colour straight away which is what you want while I'm doing that I just want to take this opportunity to say um, I appreciate all the feedback uh, the the comments are brilliant I really hope that you guys are um, enjoying these videos I hope you're trying the recipes yourself um, we do well I do have a an Instagram account and a Twitter account and I, I want to build it up so that I can start seeing some of your pictures of the cooking that you've done there at this point I'm just adding in a little bit more salt just a sprinkling and some pepper so that you're layering the the flavoring there and after a few minutes you can see the, it's all browned off beautifully and you're going to add in your veg now you'll see that this once you've mixed it in and you let it sweat down it'll actually all the onion the garlic will disappear and the carrot will start to go a bit translucent but rather than big chunks you've just got these nice thin strands so give it a good old mix and let that cook down and you can see cooking down we've got it there so into that I'm just going to add in a few sprigs of rosemary quite a powerful herb so be careful with that 
And then into this, I'm going to add in some tomato puree. It's probably about a dessert spoon's worth. And you want to give that, once I get it all out, there's the last of the tube there, give it a good old mix. And you can see that the carrots and the, the mushrooms and all that kind of stuff, all that great flavour, is actually started to reduce right down. So you want to mix in that tomato puree, cook it off for a little bit. And you can see it's starting to come together absolutely perfect. So once you've done that, you add in, in some Worcestershire sauce. Probably again a, a dessert spoon's worth and you want to give that a mix. And this is just the sharpness to counteract the sweetness of the carrots and the, uh, and the sweetness of... Um, all the other bits. So you're just getting a nice counterbalance. The tomatoes there, the tomato puree, get rid of the sweetness. Well, not get rid of it, but reduce the sweetness on that. So you've got that balance. And then you want to cook that through. So after a few minutes, you, you can see it's starting to look a bit like this. You At this stage, you want to add in a dessert spoon of flour and you want to cook that through. So you can see it's all come together beautifully you're going to cook that add the flour then you're going to just mix it in and cook it through for a couple of minutes that's actually going to once you add in the beef stock it's going to hold together and actually thicken up the sauce and it'll hold its shape a bit more so again after a few minutes you want to now add in your beef stock at this stage when I add it in, it's I only put a little bit in to start with, so you can see there, and then I'm going to give it a mix. The last thing you want to do here is all that work that you've done to get the flavours to this stage is to just flood it with beef stock because you've done all that work to get the flavours to this. And at this stage, that could have been enough um, stock and we could have just let that cook through, bring it back up and let it go. I added a little bit more and then I'm, I've just reduced it down to impart more flavour. So I started off with quite a bit of stock and I only used maybe about half of it. So there's probably, max I used was probably about 200 ml of stock there. Uh, and then I'm just going to let it reduce down so I can draw in all that flavour and you want it to thicken up as it's reducing down. So you can see there now it's been on the go for maybe 5-10 minutes. It's reduced down a little bit and now we're going to level up um, this beautiful uh, cottage pie mixture. So we're just popping it in the container, the oven proof dish. I'm going to let that spread out so you can see there. Just clean up that little bit and a bit over the edge. And once we've done that, we're going to get the mashed potatoes on the go. So I've got some mash here um, that I've, I did a bit earlier and it's cooled down. So all into that, I'm just adding in some white pepper, giving it a good old mix. And again, the thing that I'm going to add to this is I'm going to grate some cheese. And I've, you can see there I've just got some red Leicester. Add whatever cheese you want, whatever is that your family's favourite is. Um, normally you can add in Parmesan and it gives it a nice salty. I quite like this Red Leicester because as it as it sort of sprinkled through the, the potato mixture, you get little pockets of melted cheese in the um, cottage pie. So now I'm all I'm going to do is I'm just going to level that up, layer it up so that you've got a good old dollop of mash on top. And there you have it. A um, little sprinkly cheese over the top just to finish, just to give it a bit extra crispy um, topping. And then that's going to go in the oven for um, about 40 minutes um, at 180 degrees on a fan assisted oven 
think that's about 360 Fahrenheit. And again, I'm just putting a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on top. There, just to give it an extra boost in flavour. And once that's done, it comes out the oven looking a bit like this. And guys, this was devoured. It was, I hope you do try this. It is quite a simple recipe. It can take a little while to get prep time, probably about 15, 20 minutes cook time. Like I said, about 40 minutes if you've let it cool. And it'll look like that. And guys, this is how long it lasted in my house. As soon as it was plated up, um, I brought it out of the oven. Looked absolutely gorgeous. And then shouted everybody round. And before I knew it, it was like that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're staying safe out there. From my family to yours. Till the next time, signing off.